Hi, my name is Ryan Ely, and I'm a senior investment advisor and director of the investment committee at Capital Investment Advisors and the executive producer of Money Matters live every Sunday from 9 to 11 on WSB. We take a lot of questions on Money Matters every Sunday and questions that we don't get to on air. We often have people email to us and the Money Matters team answers those throughout the week. And I wanna share one of those questions with you today. This question comes from one of our listeners who is 58 years old and already retired. He says, at 58, I have $600,000 in my IRA that is invested in target date funds. I'm very tired of watching the ups and downs and pretty happy with the dollar amount that I have saved. I don't plan to use the money for another three to four years until my other savings are exhausted. Can I just put the money in cash and leave it in a money market for the time being? So this is a really interesting question. And it's a very, very common question that we get, especially after the volatility that we saw in the markets earlier in 2020. Ultimately, the type of investment allocation that you have is really a function of your risk tolerance and your financial needs over time. So it's very hard to give an ultra specific answer. However, in this specific case, it brings to mind something called the 4% rule, which is a concept that we talk about an awful lot on money matters and have studied and expanded upon the original research from Bill Bangzen at MIT. Simply put, the 4% rule is a guideline for retirees to understand how much and how long they can live off of their nest egg in retirement. If you stuck your money in a mattress, you could take 4% a year without adjusting for inflation for 25 years. And that sounds pretty appealing to some people, especially when they think about volatility in the market. However, given that this person is only 58 years old, they're more than likely going to have a longer than 25 year retirement window. And adjusting for inflation, that 25 years of taking 4% can get compressed very, very quickly. The 4% rule is a test that says you can take 4% of your initial capital every year and adjust that annual income higher for inflation every year in retirement. We looked at all of the years beginning retirement from 1929 through the year 2009, and then went forward from there using capital market assumptions that were pretty conservative. We used 5% for stock market returns and 1% to 2% for bond market returns. In the worst case scenario, in a diversified portfolio where you had at least 50% in equities, the S&P 500 in this example, and 50% in bonds, the worst case was that your money lasted 29 years adjusted for inflation. To put the 4% rule into perspective for this 58 year old, in 30% of our examples using the 4% rule, the money ran out. But the worst case scenario was that you ran out of money in 29 years. That's with adjusting your annual distributions for inflation. In 70% of the examples, the money lasted 50 years or more or to your age, 108. The 4% rule is just a rule of thumb and everyone's situation is different and they need to consult their investment advisor to figure out an allocation that works best for them. But that rule of thumb is pretty significant. I hope that you found this rule of thumb helpful for your retirement and your retirement withdrawals headed into the future. If you have any more questions, you can always find me and the Money Matters team at yourwealth.com. That's Y-O-U-R wealth.com or you can tune in to money matters every sunday on 95.5 fm wsb from 9 to 11 a.m